Greetings everyone and thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a working historic grist mill located off War Eagle Road, just out of Rogers in War Eagle, Arkansas. Currently operated as an undershot mill, offering a restaurant and market, and rumored to hold a range of hauntings tied to its past. Are you prepared to brave the ghosts of War Eagle Mill? Historically, Sylvanus and Catherine Blackburn would move to War Eagle Valley in 1832 and would set up a mill on the banks of War Eagle Creek. However, in 1848, flooding would push this early mill into the nearby current, resulting in it being washed downstream and destroyed, and forcing the duo to reconstruct their business in whole, after which, in sync with the ever-growing populace, profits would soar. Through the 1860s, under strain of the Civil War, northwestern Arkansas was placed smack dab in the middle of conflict, with a bulk of the state to the south supporting the Confederacy, and Missourians just a few miles to the north siding with the Union. Five Blackburn sons would enlist under the Confederate Army, while the rest of the family would move to Texas. In 1862, while the Union Army occupied War Eagle Valley, the family's old grist mill would be used to grind their grain, and later into the fight, as the Confederacy advanced in Union forces group near Pea Ridge, Confederate soldiers would utilize the old mill for a couple of days, before sadly burning it to the ground to prevent further Union operation. Following the Battle of Pea Ridge, nearby landscapes were decimated by retreating Confederate forces and ensuing looters, with a number of homesteads left abandoned or destroyed entirely. And in 1865, preceding the war's conclusion, the Blackburn family would return to find only their abode left standing, though Sylvanus's sixth son, James Austin Cameron Blackburn, would eventually reconstruct their mill by 1873. During this reconstruction, he would opt to expand the mill by way of adding more powerful grinding technologies operated off of a turbine instead of a water wheel, and the family's sawmill, purportedly the largest in the state at the time, would eventually lead to James picking up the nickname of being the Lumber King of Northwest Arkansas. By the early 20th century, the old mill would be turning out around 40 barrels of flour daily, and in 1907, the War Eagle Bridge was constructed under the Illinois Steel Bridge Company for the purpose of creating an easier route to local markets. After earning a seat on the Arkansas Senate, James would sell his operation to the Kilgore family, who would retain ownership of the mill until 1924, when it was caught in a fire and reduced to mere rubble on foundation. In 1973, one Jewel Medlin would purchase the aged property, would uncover blueprints, and would reconstruct the mill in its entirety, opting for the old undershot water wheel as opposed to the turbine. The War Eagle Mill remains open into the present as the only working water mill in the whole of Arkansas, and is powered by its 18-foot water wheel. Additionally, the site offers a range of organic grains, cereals, and flour products of the finest quality. Over the years, a number of ghost stories and local legends surrounding the mill, encompassing lands and associated paranormal activity have been perpetuated, and those frequenting the property have reported extreme cold spots, objects witnessed moving on their own, usually within the restaurant, and disembodied, hushed conversations heard sporadically from empty spaces. The spirits of a number of soldiers have been observed patrolling the area, and the spectral form of an elderly man with a white beard has been encountered roaming about. One more commonly cited entity is that of a young Confederate soldier who's often spied scouting the river with a sad look upon his face. Some tell this melancholy manifestation is one of the casualties of the nearby Battle of Pea Ridge, or possibly a soldier who died while looting the area for supplies. Lastly, the ghost of Sylvanus himself has been encountered on numerous occasions, and some claim he isn't exactly pleased with what's since transpired within his mill, though reports of unpleasant encounters with him have seemingly diminished as the site has been shown more respect, love, and honor in recent years. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.